Good morning, this is Dan with Sydney's Angels. Thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. If you don't know me by now, um, my wife Jordan and I breed fish in our basement. We're relatively new at it. We have a little online store called Sydney's Angels. It's uh, named after my daughter. And I'm also pretty big into aquascaping. So this is gonna be my first vlog. I just wanted to shoot a really quick video just kind of showing you guys what I got going on, stuff that you can look forward to, and also kind of get your input. So let's take a look at what's going on. All right, the first tank I want to talk about is my very first ever tank. That's my 90 gallon I got for free that kind of started the whole wildfire of this hobby that I have now. And it's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. I have way too many fish in here, I know. Um, it kind of takes away from the scape. Really it comes down to I don't have enough tanks, believe it or not. Uh, but that'll be changing soon. So my buddy Steve and I made a bunch of changes to this tank. If you remember, I used to have a rock here and a rock here. And I won't talk too much about this tank because it kind of deserves its own video. But uh, Steve basically gave me a bunch of wood and we made a nature style aquarium in here. And I'm going to dedicate it to the Bozeman Eye rainbow fish I have. Uh, you can see I have four males and about ten females. <laughs> I have a hodgepodge of fish in here. So... Believe it or not, Steve found this piece of wood in the Fox River locally, which is just awesome. And obviously we pieced together some more wood to kind of bring more dimensions to it. The whole idea behind this aquascape is to make something beautiful and low maintenance. And I think we've achieved that. We've got a lot of ferns, anubias, boosts, and besides a 50% water change, once a week, there's not a whole lot else I gotta do. And this allows me to really just enjoy the aquascape and the fish. It's the morning, so the rainbows are nice and bright right now. So I'll dive more into this tank at another date, but that's a really quick look at it. The 60P Iwagumi is looking so good. Really happy with this tank. So I've got a group of five white cloud mountain minnows, and I've also got some endlers in here. And the endlers decided to have some babies, because that's what guppies do. So I think we got five, six endler babies in here. I've been throwing some baby brine shrimp in there, letting them eat that. I, I noticed they were getting chased around a little bit, but there's some hiding spots in there. Uh, I am currently making a video on this tank, but I mean, just it just looks so good so happy with it the floating plants are looking really nice hair grass is filling in nicely sterigyne is coming back after an aggressive trim session so all is good with this tank really enjoying this one the 45p is looking really good too look at that plant growth you guys have known I've had some struggles with this one and it is true what they say, it's harder to keep a little bit of water stable. Uh, you're much, if you're new, I'd recommend starting with like a 60p at least. Um, this is a 45p, so it's like nine gallons. Finally getting some really good plant growth. I do have some algae in here, but nothing's perfect. But I mean, just look at that hydrocotyl. And I just gave it a big, big trim but I do top it with uh, some of the cuttings so it, it doesn't look too bad. Got some endlers and some ember tetras. I'm gonna breed these ember tetras here. I wanna breed them. I think that'd be a fun project. So that tank is looking so good. Got some pathos and it's a, a spider plant up here too. It's loving all the nitrates in the water. Some other projects I'm working on. Uh, Higer sent me some more stuff to review. Super grateful for that opportunity. We've got a hang on the back filter with a skimmer. That looks interesting. Um, and then we've also got one of their double sponge filters. I, I'm a big fan of these. So looking forward to starting a tank with that as well. And I am really excited about this project. If you guys know anything about CPDs, emerald rasporas, or other egg scattering fish, they love eating their eggs. Um, I'm building a trap, and I'm going to make a video about it so you can too. Basically, we're going to be cutting a square 
in this Tupperware, putting this plastic canvas on top of here and catching a bunch of eggs. So stay tuned for those videos. We probably don't have enough time to go through everything down here because I just have so much going on. But a few things I want to share with you. The Golden Rams, if you follow me on Instagram, I just posted yesterday. They're a little over a month old now and they are looking so good. I mean, I don't see any deformities with these guys. This is my first uh, batch of rams I've ever hatched. So, German blue rams just laid some eggs. And, you see, got a lot of fungus on them. But we have some eggs that still look pretty good, actually. So, that's kind of what happened with the golden rams. So, We'll be keeping an eye on that. My Galaxy um, guppies that I really liked have about seven babies. I don't know if you can see them in that breeding net. They had about seven babies. The new mosaic line that I have made a ton of babies. They're in this box here. They just got a bunch of brine shrimp. They're nice and happy. I don't know how many there are, but a bunch. The CPDs that are growing up are looking really good. Let's see if I can get a, a shot of these guys. Got a lot of CPDs I'm raising. So we're going to talk more about those with the next video. The emeralds are looking really good. Got a couple in there that have swim bladder issues I've got to take care of, but. Look at this guy. What a stud. That's what the Golden Rams are going to look like. The males. Really excited. Thank you, Tony, for getting me these. That was a birthday present. More German Blue Rams. Can't get enough of these fish. I just think they're beautiful. Especially when they're in their spawning colors. Angelfish are looking really, really good. Uh, one thing I, I just learned, and something that I think I might start doing a little more often. Notice how clean this tank is? I just got a little tiny hang on the back filter. And um, it seems to be getting all the poop off the bottom. So, that's something kind of to know. Oh, my blast... Moscow guppies had a ton of babies. If you remember from my last video or a couple videos ago, I bought a bag full of guppy fries. Fry, not fries. <laughs> I'm thinking of McDonald's already. And there is probably, I don't know, over 50 of them in there. And I didn't really appreciate these guppies fully until I saw them in really good light. They have like a dark purple. Uh, they're really cool really like them so got that going on and my rainbow fish fry that Steve gave me are getting chunky you know that uh, rainbow fish take a long time to grow these guys are growing pretty fast actually faster than I thought they would I have no experience with rainbows but they get a lot of brine shrimp and a lot of water changes so Really loving these guys. I'm going to be setting up a dedicated tank for them. Philippine Blue Angels. Looking really healthy. And more Philippine Blue Angels. Looking really healthy. Jeez, they're hungry. I just fed them too. But a healthy fish is always hungry. Not a whole lot of deformities in this line either. Something else uh, super interesting, uh, Jordan, myself, Steve, and his girlfriend Liz are going to Madison, Wisconsin today uh, to go meet Steve's buddy, Marcel. He's a huge rainbow fish uh, breeder and enthusiast. He knows a lot. Um, he's got a lot of rare strains. He's got a lot of knowledge, so I'm super excited to meet him and learn from him. Um, Petco is doing their, what is their new dollar per gallon sale it's basically 50% off all their tanks. But if you sign up for the PALS perks or whatever, it's like 10 bucks a month. Another 20% comes off. 
And if you buy them and pick them up in store, another 10% comes off. So it's 80% off Petco tanks right now. Um, I think I bought, I got two 40 gallon um, tanks coming. I bought Steve, I think 10 20 gallons and another 40 gallon. He's gonna pay me of course, but I just jumped on it while I saw it. And I might be buying a 75 gallon too, we'll see. But it's just, you'll never get free uh, brand new tanks this cheap. So if you're interested, check out your Petco. I don't know if it's nationwide. Uh, something else, I'm gonna be going to Aquashella next weekend in Chicago. Uh, first time for me and my wife and my buddy Tony are coming. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll see some of you guys there. Um, I think that's it. So just be making a lot of videos, um, making some more product reviews. Oh, one more thing I wanna do. I wanna start making some how-to breeding videos. And I think I harp on this a lot. I'm not an expert, I'm learning. Um, so don't take what I say you know, as 100% fact. I'm gonna share what works for me. Obviously I have some success with breeding smaller fish like CPDs. And I want to share what I know so far about it and make some videos on that. And I also want to share how to breed angelfish. And there's already a lot of really good videos on YouTube, but I could share what I know. So if you guys are interested in learning how to breed different kinds of fish and you want to see me make those videos, I can make those too. Oh, I didn't feed you guys yet. That's why you're all hangry. So yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. I tried to make a quick vlog. I've never made vlogs before, so um, let me know if you like this format. But I think it's a lot easier for me. I can churn out more videos this way. And I um, hope everyone's having a great week. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out here with Steve. We went to three different Petco's. We already made a, a stop at his house. We have 175, 440s, 1020s, 710s. I don't think we can get any more tanks in the back. So we went all out. This sale is amazing. So we got to get these home without breaking any of them. <laughs>